Okay, here we're going to demonstrate uh, a modified auto groover and what we've done is this works like a regular groover do all kinds of size lenses but the limitations to the typical auto groover uh, before the automated edgers came out with the grooving mode built in them was that these went down to maybe um, 25, 24 millimeters <clears throat> uh, before the uh, chuck pieces ran into uh, these metal holders down here uh, that guide the lens through and it would ride right on there and that would limit the size of the lens that you could groove because the lens won't re reach the uh, grooving wheel. So we'll go ahead and demo uh, what a regular auto groover will do. Uh, this is your typical small 25 millimeter lens and I like to start them so that they're in here vertically. I like to start right on the bottom edge here so that I can see um, where it's grooving in the center of the lens. You just do a little test and you just nick it and you can see if you need to move it one way or the other and that way you get a nice even groove around the front of the lens. Um, so our switch is down here. Uh, this is going to rotate the lens and this is going to turn on the groover. So what we do is on this uh, tool right here, this manipulates the distance to the front of the lens and um, that sets the, uh, the thickness that the groove is going to be set in from the front surface of the lens. So the farther I rotate this out, the farther the groove moves this way because the, the lens is going to ride against this front edge here. So uh, this is a thin lens, so we're going to set it up so um, we're maybe a millimeter in from the front of the lens, but we'll go ahead and test it. Now this right here, this will control your groove depth, okay? And the way you do that is you just rotate this wheel up and down, and up the farther you go, the less you're going to depth you're going to groove into the lens. The farther down you go, the deeper you're going to groove into the lens. And um, so that that controls that, and then you can go even farther with this adjustment screw. You can you can manipulate it even farther. This side is spring activated, so it's constantly putting pressure on the back of the lens, so that lens stays right up to the front of the uh, this guide post here, this roller, and that'll make sure the uh, the lens has a nice even groove around the front surface. Now on the bottom here, you see you have these settings. You have these two brass prongs in this spring and you have three markings under here. You have R for rear, F for front, and C for center. If we're going to do a front surface uh, groove, so the groove is going to be parallel around the front surface of the lens, we're going to set it up this way. If we're going to do a rear surface groove, we're going to set it up this way. If we're going to do a, these are typically for minus lenses. Now this one, for a plus lens, you'll want to do a center groove. And you're going to set it up this way. So now we're pulling in both these uh, lens guides in equally. And to make sure they're symmetrical, you put in the center post right in the middle here. See, it's gonna go, there's, a, there's a little notch for both of these. And that makes these two symmetrical. And what you do to make sure both even work evenly, you have to rotate this down the middle. So it's not bumping on one side of the guide or the other. And both these will now work symmetrically, regardless of which part of the lens it's touching. And that way, you'll get a nice center rotation around uh, uh, the front of the lens. So the thickest part of the lens, the, the, the groove will be centered. And the thinnest part of a plus lens, the groove will also be centered. But we're going to do minus lenses today. So um, pull that out and switch this over to front surface. The spring came off my holder here. So I'll stick that in the front surface. And we'll adjust the front lens guide about there. This one's automatically got spring pressure.
We've got the lens mounted. So I'll turn on the edger and then I'll touch the lens to the grooving wheel. And when I do that, I move this out of the way so that <clears throat> the lens rides, <clears throat> excuse me, right on the, uh, the wheel. And then as soon as I feel it drop down off the guide, I know I'm up against the guide and I'm just touching the, uh, the cutting wheel. And that'll, that'll give me a good indication of where that notch is going to end up here. You know, it'll kind of show up as a white, a white groove with the uh, with the lens powder from cutting so let's go ahead and do that okay so we've got a nice little white mark here it's not quite in the center it's it's uh, a little more towards the back of the lens than I'd like so I'm going to tighten this up some I'm going to rotate this clockwise and that's going to put cam pressure on the back of this arm and that's going to bring the front of it in so I'm going to do that again check it that's a lot better that's sitting more on the uh, in the center of the lens now when you get on these lenses what you'll find on the thinner lenses is if you set it directly in the middle on the bottom or top of the lens on the B measurement, as you get around to these sharp corners, the groove tends to move a little bit towards the back or uh, towards the front, excuse me. And so what can happen is <clears throat> if you put it too far in the too close to the middle or or to the to the right of middle, more towards the front of the lens, by the time you get around to the these corners of these lenses, you can run that groove right to the edge and you risk uh, chipping the lens or sometimes you run the groove right off the lens and you ruin it and you got to order a new lens. So I like to be to the center, if not a little bit to the left of center, towards the back of the lens. So you give room uh, toward, towards these corners here as you get out there. Now, of course, we're doing just a Plano lens, which is one of the thinnest lenses. Of, obviously, you can put a groove in, so this is a bit of a challenge. Uh, most of your lenses will be a little bit thicker, but if you can do this, you can do any lens. So let's go ahead and run this. What I'm going to do is start the motor first. You can go ahead and just, I open this up by pushing on the back of this cam, let it drop down, and just let it rest there. And then I let go of this so it's constantly got pressure. Now, it's not going to do any damage if you just let the lens sit there because it's already grooved the material out. It's just going to spin inside the groove. It's not going to do any more cutting until I flip this switch, which is going to rotate the lens. What I usually do is do one, at least two or three full rotations <clears throat> to make sure all the material has been removed. So you got a nice uh, symmetrical groove all the way around the uh, lens and a nice even depth. Basically when you stop hearing it cutting, it's done. Okay, so now for the uh, edger modification that we made to cut smaller lenses. Um, what you're going to do is just pry this chuck off. It's got a rubber o-ring in there. so. It sticks in there pretty well. Then you're going to snap out the other side. Then you're going to slip in our chuck modification. Then you're going to slip in the other side. It's a cap that goes on there. These are rubber faced so they won't damage your lens. Now because we're gripping such a small footprint of the lens, um, you really can't put enough, you can't crank down enough uh, surface pressure uh, without possibly breaking the lens to uh, grip that lens so that it rotates as it's cutting. So what I do to make sure we get a good edge around this, I'll just take a regular blocking pad and um, we're going to cut a uh, small chunk off here.
cut another small chunk off the other side just so we grip that lens just like when we're edging a lens it's the same idea and just put that in the middle on this side put that in the middle on this side now we got a really good grip on that lens and we don't have to crank down on it and possibly crack a very expensive lens Okay, so I pull that sticky stuff off, and we're going to go through the same process. We're going to center this up, down, left, and right. We do the same process of uh, positioning our groove. Turn it on. We're going to uh, nick the groove and look at the centering. a little bit too far to the back so we're going to uh, rotate this in and move it a little bit to the right a little bit more that looks pretty good there Let's go with that. Okay, so two full turns, that should do it. And uh, what I'll do sometimes is I'll grab a little toothbrush, a dry toothbrush, and uh, it gets the dust out of the, uh, the lens, out of the groove. So you can see that you got a nice even groove all the way around this lens. I think next time what I'd do is move it just a little bit more toward the back so when you get out here to the corner you don't have as much of a sharp edge but this one would work definitely. So it gets better with practice. You get a feel for it and pretty soon it's it's there's nothing to fear. You just you just literally get in the groove <laughs> so to speak and uh, you can groove these all day long without making any mistakes so that's uh, that's basically it um, so to reverse the process you're just going to move the cap off take out the modification put this center turn one in first put the driving mechanism side on next and now you're back to uh, standard grooving procedure and this has a big enough footprint so when you clamp down on that lens you don't have to worry about uh, putting those sticky pads on. You can still if you want to do that if, if uh, you're afraid of that but just remember if you do put the sticky pads on that you uh, get the dust off these uh, these little chucks so that the uh, sticky pad actually works. So there you go. Here's your, uh, here's your edger auto groover modification to groove all the way down to a uh, 18 or 20 millimeter lens. Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your 
rise, look up to the sky.